Small but mighty, these hatchling desert tortoises make for great non-traditional pets and can be kept in your family for generations to come. Each year, the Arizona Game and Fish Department adopts out hundreds of captive desert tortoises ranging from hatchlings to adults that have been surrendered to the department. A desert tortoise that is properly cared for with a balanced diet and active lifestyle can live for upwards of 80 years. So if you are someone who is considering adopting, be prepared to have a long-term plan in place, either a will or some other succession plan as that tortoise may outlive its caretaker. When adopting, we do recommend that all hatchlings are housed and cared for in a safe enclosure outside. Tortoises thrive on natural sunlight and an indoor enclosure struggles to mimic those conditions. For an outdoor hatchling enclosure, you have two options. You can either buy a pre-built pen or build an enclosure of at least four by four square feet in size with square sides made of solid barrier and a mesh style roof. Mesh screens for the roof are best so that your hatchling can get natural sunlight while being protected from predators. Even with that mesh screen roof though, we do still recommend your burrow be in a location of at least 80% of shade to protect it from the late morning and afternoon heats. We also recommend that you provide two to three small edible safe plants in your enclosure for your tortoise to munch on along with a small water dish that allows for your hatchling to enter and leave on their own. Many people like to use a pre-built tortoise hutch, which can be a great starter size for a hatchling. However, do keep in mind that as your tortoise grows, a new outside enclosure will have to be built to keep up with its size. If you prefer, you can always build your enclosure right from the start. The very first thing you need to do before starting the building process or placing your pre-made hutch down is to find an area that will provide close to 80% of shade covering for your tortoise. Once that is decided, you can then begin the process of making your enclosure. If you do plan to start off with a pre-made tortoise hutch, we recommend using that smaller side of the hutch to place as your burrow. A small bucket or flower pot from any store is what we recommend for burrow construction. Place your bucket or pot in and then fill that burrow side with dirt all the way to the top surrounding your makeshift burrow. Then you'll put more dirt in the larger area of the hutch and fill your burrow about halfway up. Once that is done, you can begin setting up your enclosure with some native desert tortoise safe plants, a water dish, some hides, and some food. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you prefer to build your own enclosure, you'll need to start off with a space of four feet by four feet minimum. The hatchling enclosures we recommend and we like to build are made up of cinder blocks. If using cinder blocks, you're gonna wanna dig down at least one inch deep and eight inches wide to place your cinder blocks in. There should be no gaps when placing your cinder blocks down. You're gonna wanna then fill your cinder blocks with dirt to provide a little extra insulation for those hatchlings and also to help prevent any unwanted neighbors from hiding in those blocks or near your hatchling. Once the exterior of your enclosure has been assembled, you can get started on the burrow. To make things simple, you can use pavers for your burrow and place them again about one inches deep in the dirt. Your burrow should be about five inches by seven inches which is approximately three pavers in a U shape. Now don't forget, you're gonna want a roof for that burrow to provide your hatchling shade from the sunlight. You can make a roof using flagstone, you can make a roof using sturdy plywood, or you can also make things easy and just use some more pavers. Once that burrow is built, you will then need to grab some more dirt and cover it completely so that you are unable to see any material whatsoever. Burying your burrow in dirt allows just for some extra insulation from those extreme temperatures we get here in Arizona. So in front of your burrow, you're gonna to need to create a berm to ensure that no flooding occurs. To do that, you're just gonna to need to pat down some dirt to create what looks like a hill for your tortoise to climb up and over, and this will just help to keep any rain or water out of your burrow. Lastly, you're gonna need a roof for your enclosure as a whole. You can do this by creating a mesh screen top by using mesh screen and wooden planks to put on top of your enclosure when you're not interacting with your tortoise. This will again just help to protect them from any predators or any annoying neighbors, such as rats and mice. Again, once that's all done, feel free to set up your enclosure with some native desert tortoise safe plants, along with a water dish for your tortoise. Easy as that. So once you've finished with your enclosure and your burrow, take some pictures of your product and attach them to your application. When your enclosure is approved, we'll then match you with the perfect hatchling that you can watch grow up as you gain a greater appreciation for desert wildlife.